Uh, right, uh, constants are something I've been uh, in many to talk about for a long time, but I've uh, not got around to it yet. Here we go. Um, you just you just use the keyword final basically, and that's what how you define a, a constant. And uh, so if you have a an integer of some sort like this, uh, you just say static final int, and that makes it a constant. And by convention, constants are all in uppercase, and uh, if there's a more than one part to them, as it were. You put an underscore in. You split them up with underscores. That's the only place you normally use underscore and variable declarations. Again, these are just conventions. You don't have to follow these rules, but you should. <laughs> um, so this defines const one to be equal to ninety. Uh, you could also do it like this: const two. Um, where const2 equals 90, but there is a difference between these two, and which I'll come to in a minute. Uh, you can uh, you can compute one constant from another like this: uh, static final int const3 is equal to const1 divided by 2, so it will be then 45. Uh, you could do something like this, which is um, const4 is uh, system current time in milliseconds converted to an integer. This thing here, system dot current time, will get uh, in fact returns the current time in milliseconds. Uh, I think since 1970, I think I can't remember exactly something like that. It's not that important, uh, but it returns some value. Um, Oh, which is uh, a long, I think, so you can do a cast to make it into an integer and uh, stick it in into this constant here. So you can see straight away that uh, there is a difference. Uh, these are these are constants again, but in this this time they're they're not static, so they are they're uh, in instants. Constants. <laughs> now you can see straight away that there is um, a difference between these type of constants because uh, this one here is computer is is known straight away at at the time which it's compiled, and uh, this here as well is known at the time it's compiled because it knows exactly what const one is. That's known at the time it's compiled, and it can divide by two. So the compiler potentially knows what that is exactly. This one here, it, the compiler has no idea what that might turn out to be. So 4 and 5 are completely unknown. Uh, 6 again is, is known completely and so on. Uh, these here, you might think the compiler would then know that const2 is 90 but in fact because it's not been initialized straight away there it doesn't know, it's not too sure and that makes a difference. If we take a look at this here, you can also put define a parameter that's passed into a procedure as being constant. All that means is that you can't do something like that. This down here, param equals 22, will cause a compiler error because what that means is that that parameter that gets passed in can't be changed in any attempting to set something to it, so that's it. Straight away we'll give an error. You can also declare local constants like this, and that again is treated as constant, and like so as well. Here we've declared it and then later we've set it. If you try and set it again you'll get a compiler error because it will detect that it's been set more than once. Okay, and here, here we're calling a procedure and setting it. Right now, here's the, here's the number bit. I've had to put this all onto two lines because it won't fit otherwise. We've got uh, declared a byte there, b, and we're saying b equals const one, b equals const two, b equals const three, and so on. Now, obviously, what's going to happen? In some of these cases, this is a byte, and all these others are integers. And in some cases, there's going to be an implicit narrowing because 
um, because in this case what's happening here for instance is is effectively treating that as though it was a literal a literal 90 being set to B which would cause an implicit narrowing to occur and in some cases it won't because it's treating it as an integer assignment so a byte equals an integer which it won't uh, won't do so in certain circumstances it can constants like this can be treated as literals and it's and it it applies if it can work out what the value is at compile time and it's being done immediately then it will treat it as a literal otherwise it's an integer as far as it's concerned and that's the difference it's a bit of a subtle difference so as you can see from this um, the ones with uh, 1, 3, 6 and 8 are ok because 1 is ok 3 is ok and that's computable 6 again is ok and 8 down here is ok but all the others will give the compiler will give an error 